All right, YouTube, we're here with the uh, F-22. We got a Turing G motor in here now. Aero drive, D28-2610, 1400 kV. Came with the mount, came with the prop adapter, but this is not the one. Uh, 7.5 prop, everything else is the same. 30 amp ESC out of a donkey setup. Uh, just did a build video, it should be posted now. And you should be able to enjoy it. By the time this gets posted, it will have been up for a couple hours at least. And without further ado, we're getting ready to lose light. Final control surface test. All right, here goes nothing. Should be fine now. 50% power here. Got a little bit of a headwind now. There's 40% power. It's, it's doing better than it had been. There's 100% power. Won't quite float, but that's okay. I don't really want it necessarily to float. I'd rather have it fly like this. Slow and controlled. Got a little bit of, a little bit of overcorrection from the stabilizer. Looking good, feeling good. Not quite enough, not quite enough uh, control with the rudders to do a rudder turn. She really does like to fly at about 100% power, which is kind of unfortunate. But you can turn on a dime, guys. I like the way it flies, too. It's cool. It'll glide great, about 10% power there. It's got, enough, it's got enough power to get out of trouble, but not quite enough power to overwhelm it totally. I'd like to have another 20% more power. The thing is, if you don't stay on it the whole time, if you're not at 100% throttle all the time, you get a lot of grace from your electronic speed control. And... Okay, let's see how that did. Okay. All right, guys, so that didn't damage anything that I can tell. Just basically hit the ground. And it's almost like it just needs just a little bit more power. Funny thing is, I could probably put a 4S in there and really fry it. <laughs> the thing flies so good, you guys can see the, with the rudders, I can really, I can yaw the craft and still keep it fairly flat. That's what happens when you try to yaw it over aggressively. See, part of the problem I'm having is when I try to come out of a, a high alpha maneuver, I don't quite have enough to come away from it. See, I'm trying to get away from it, and you got to slowly get the nose down. Well, if you're really low, close to the ground, you don't quite have enough power to get away from the ground. I wonder if I could get away with running a little bit higher pitch prop. Or actually, a lower pitch prop would give us more low end power. Five minute timer on this thing. See what I'm talking about there guys? You come out of that and you just really have to slowly drop that nose back down when you come out of a near stall like that. Which honestly is not unlike a scale airplane would. I could also try to flip it over. So you can turn pretty quick with this thing. Cut back the power, we'll see how we can, we'll just do a little glide, about 15%. There's none. 
Very easy to control. We got about, I'd call it maybe a five mile an hour wind, maybe gust, yeah, about three miles an hour steady. You can do your nice slow loops if you want. Ooh. Sorry, I saw a bird got all excited. <laughs> There's my timer, guys. I would definitely not describe the way it's flying as weak. That was very rough. Sorry, I got to test to make sure I didn't break anything. I think this popped open and then snapped Snap shut, shut, which is kind of weird. Let's try it again. I just want to see if it flies. But before we do that, let's check voltage. Sorry, guys. 3.83, 3.87, 3. 3.82. Yeah, good enough, guys. We're going for a little while longer. It looks cool. Mm -hmm. It's always been kind of a cool looking plane. I wouldn't describe this as my favorite or anything like that. I would just describe it as a fun plane. Hope it films okay in the low light conditions tonight though. I think it's okay. That was a little better landing guys. But from what I can tell, this thing needs just a little bit more. What did I say? It's a 7.5 prop. I think so. The motor is warm. I wouldn't even say warm. it's barely warm. That's awesome. That's the first time we've had that. It was getting really hot before. The ESC is not even hot. I would say it's warm. It's probably something like 120 degrees at that. The battery's not warm. I'm going to keep going for a little longer. Super easy launch. This plane has always been historically one of the easier ones to launch because that, that vein on the front uh, that goes up to the canopy has always made it really easy. One thing I've never been a fan of on this plane is that it's just obnoxiously loud. It is that. Let's go between some trees. No alarm yet, but you wouldn't be able to hear it over the freaking buzz. <laughs> if I did a slow flight prop, guys. If I did a slow flight prop, I bet it would be a lot quieter and more torpy at the low end. But my experience with slow flight props is that you kind of need to get a little bigger prop to get your power out of it so I'm just not sure I can get away with that with the seven inch but we'll see I'm gonna, I want to check the voltage again just kind of curious how long of a flight time we're gonna get geez still going I go for a while longer still yet it would be nice to our batteries to maybe stop after about <laughs> seven or eight minutes but uh for the sake of filming, it's always kind of nice to know what you're going to get out of it. What do you think, hon? Well, you're at nine minutes on the recording time. No, I mean, do you like the way the plane looks? It looks cool. The lights are easy to see. Yeah, the, the lights are very easy to see. I wrap the top and the bottom of the wings so you can see both directions very well. And unlike some of my other planes where I'll take out the individual LEDs, those are just the LED strips. Yeah. So if you were trying to copy this at home, it'd be a little easier for you to do. It does make me feel like I should go home and vacuum or something. After listening to it. It's kind of obnoxious. It is. And it doesn't, it doesn't let up. That's mm -hmm. the biggest annoying part. But it's super controllable with that stabilizer. It was a, it was a flyable plane before. It was definitely easy to fly. But with the stabilizer, it's just 
it's so rock solid, you know. Like just having those crisp turns and stuff like that and then doing the high alpha. It just picks up where your brain gets left behind. You know, I was sort of joking about the whole slope soaring thing, but I mean, this plane probably would slope soar if I push that battery all the way forward. Okay, I feel like we're losing a little juice here. Finally. The thing that's nice about these 12 volt lights, they will start dimming when you get to the point where they're actually dead. Let's check the voltage again, guys. Looks like we finally found the... Throttle cuts on, by the way. Yeah, that motor's not hot. The ESC is not hot. I think we finally... Jeez! Look at that! Let's see what it does with load. We got more in it. That's crazy, guys. Our flight time's at five minutes and 50 past our five minute timer. So we could probably go for conservatively. Conservatively, we could go for probably 10 minutes. Um, maybe pushing it, maybe we'll get 12. But we've been filming, so we've been stopping and stuff like that. Continuous flight time, maybe 10 minutes. How's the visibility on the on the screen there. I think it's all right. Really? It seems kind of dark out here. That's the thing you guys may not realize, but it's pretty dark out. At this moment, you can see the street lights in the back background. I love that you feel all the air after it goes by. That's so cool. So easy to land. Guys, thanks for sticking in there. This has been kind of a fiasco project for me. What is this, like the fifth video? I think so. Something like that. But either way, I'm real happy with it. If you wanted to do this, you can get the plans free online. I think I actually have a link to it. Um, you can also buy the plans, I'm sure, somewhere if you're really into that sort of thing, like spending money. And also, if you use a lighter product than I did, this stuff was free foam board that I got at a project. I, I work at a site that does uh, advertising and they rent tables and things like that. And this was a really thick, heavy finish. So if you were to get something lighter and then I used a ton of hot glue. If I did this again, I'm gonna CA this stuff if it'll stick. Um, it's gonna be a lot lighter. And I also use Metal Gear servos, partly because it's heavier and I oversized everything and did the ailerons. And then I also did the leading edge slats and then of course the lights and then by the time you add the stabilizer and you add the rudders because i got rudders in here which by the way the rudders really do help for controllability um you would go up into a high alpha and then you could never kind of convince the nose back in the direction you want so i really like the added the added controllability that you get there and then i just did this this is just soft foam in case i would hit the ground because that believe it or not that really helps because if you have a nasty landing or whatever which i usually don't have bad landings with this uh even with the motors like burn up and fall <laughs> off of the equipment or they're smoking it was always good landings but this will help save you uh especially if you're learning to fly and this is nice because look where the prop is it's it's not completely safe to where you can just do anything but um you get a little more grace with these wings they help protect you a little bit uh, use the throttle cut and what a great little plane though. It's super fun and I've flown a lot of planes guys and these ones still still cool for me and um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe.